check this out guys we are inside an abandoned house now zay has been here before years ago this is my first time here so i'm pretty excited to check this place out it looks pretty neat already we got zay over there urbexon but right away we walk in and we're inside the kitchen you've got wainscoting up the wall and it's kind of like it's an old classic looking farmhouse i mean got the, the multicolored brick there and just the whole buy right away, you kind of got that old classic farmhouse. Now, an old General Electric stove here, just a little guy. And then there's another stove, much older looks like, over here. And this is a Finley. Finlay? Finley? I don't know. But an oldie, that's for sure. And now, there's been birds making ruckus because there's a nest up there. So if you hear some freaking out, that's because of that. Ooh. So that's the basement, kind of, it's just a crawl space. But look at this. You know a place is old when it's got an old pump for the well like that. That's so cool. And super overgrown. Zay actually had thought that this place was demolished, but turns out it's not. Oh, look at the insulate. Oh, this would have been like a, especially this was like a cold cellar. Because it kind of got insulation up on the ceiling and stuff. I mean, maybe not cold, but uh, either way, they're doing something with it to insulate it. And back here, let's see what we got back here. Oh, so there's like a whole bunch of trail stuff for snowmobiling. There's a little access to the basement, but I think there's another way in. We can just have a little peek over here. And this is all for snowmobiling. So this person must, there must be a trail nearby. I didn't see. Yeah, the basement's actually crappy looking it's no nah, i don't think i'm gonna bother what's back here looks like there's some uh which that that big tank was filled with water and there's like an old stone foundation of a barn yeah so this is an addition here's the exterior wall right here Close this back up. I'm loving the flooring. Like it's been abandoned for a long time, judging by how worn the floor is and like filthy. So here's the way into the basement. And we did have a little peek. I don't really care to go down there. It doesn't look like there's anything worthwhile. It's just a little basement. Closet for our uh, camera gear, but right off the kitchen. So this is gonna definitely be your pantry area. I'm loving the old tattered curtains. I don't know if it's really showing up that well because it's pretty bright up there. You can see some good tattered curtains there. And if you didn't notice this on the beginning of the video, we've got vines coming right inside here. I always love that when nature is like making its way back into a house, taking it back. And over here, you've got this old school electric mower there well another general electric appliance here rusty and just a hot mess i'm loving that wallpaper a lot of brown you can probably hear that bird right now that's the bird that was i was saying the freaking out in that nest this room look at the mold on the wall it's not like well actually it is pretty bad now that i turned the light on and some more super tattered curtains. Look at this. Now that is an antique right there. Rotary phone. She's scaring the bird. And you got your wood stove or your stove here, your heater, furnace, I guess it is. Let's see. Yeah. And obviously the big pipe running across to give the radiant heat. And it kind of looks like there might have been a different one over there or a pipe did go through that way at one, different, at one point in time. But again, this room is just such a classic Ontario farmhouse. You've got cracks in the plaster in the ceiling all the way around. But nice, you know, you don't see this nice frames and trim like you do in these places. You don't see that anymore. And nice solid hardwood door, not door. We saw it on the other side when we started the video off. But look at this. More vines coming in here, and I love that they're all intertwined with the uh, curtain there, and the curtain's all tattered. It's just 
So cool. And I do see there's a bit of trim running the perimeter of the roof. A little bit of a fancy decor. And some old school curtains there. Oh, so there would have been doors here. Okay, like French doors or something? Yeah, because there's two hinges. It's too wide for a single door, but this is probably one of them. Love the old keyhole. And then you got really nice wood up the staircase, all the accents and everything. It's really nice. It's unfortunate to see these places with beautiful staircases just rotting away. When so many of the homes these days are just pretty boring. Like this is standard kind of stuff for houses these back in the day. So this I'm sure, yeah, excuse me, this is gonna probably be your master bedroom. Judging, judging, judging entirely by the size of it. Like there's people like right across the road living there and we're just here doing urbex. Fortunately, they don't seem to care. And you know, there wasn't closets in a lot of these old farmhouses. So here's your closet kind of thing here where you hang your shirts and your sh what the heck. And this like, is this in a vanity or part of an old bed frame? Vines and everything coming up over the front there. Got ourselves another bedroom. Oh, and a stove pipe comes out here. Look at the old, this is how you turn your light on. It's just like a little switch there. It's funny. Definitely a bit of a stink going on, but there you go. Another closet there, all those hooks. I mean, obviously animals are in this place. And these, these would be screens for your windows. You kind of just throw those in there. Another small little bedroom. And this is actually right above that room that was full of the blood, all that mold. And this room is kind of moist and damp feeling. You can feel it in the air. It's just, it's kind of damp. So it makes sense that below is also pretty bad. Look at this, there's a bird skeleton. And this little back room, look at the, oh, you can see that metal thing. That was like a tower. So that must have been a water tower, I bet. Whether it was used for farming or whether it was used for like, like water here. Because it's quite possible, because that is kind of by the back where that pump was. So it's quite possible that that was kind of rigged up some fancy plumbing. Got a bedroom with a nice old bed frame in here. Love that. And again, it's kind of damp in here, not as bad as the other side, but you can see there's water stains on the flooring. I can hear that bird just going bananas downstairs. Oh, look at this room. This room's sweet. So you got like a scarf or a tie, but look at this. You got a wicked old bed frame. You've got the, the plaster coming right off the ceiling. So the wood slats are exposed and you've got light coming through it. So that is, that's like a great little scene of all natural decay. And that's another thing to point out too, guys. This place is 100% natural decay. And for as abandoned as long as it's been, like they said, she's been, it's probably been five years at least for her to be, have been here. And look at how tough it's holding up. Like it's just, it's in really good shape considering. I mean, there's, you see, do, do see some holes, but aside from that, man, it's, it's in pretty good shape.